Welcome back to the Nullified Tech channel here on YouTube where I'm your host Chris and I am back with some TNT takes for you. Uh, I want to discuss the new season of Australian Survivor. There has been some news that have dropped this week. Uh, a Twitter user or I believe an Instagram user came out and said they had some contacts that confirmed the new season and what it's going to be uh, for Australian Survivor and rumor has it that the season is going to be called Titans versus Rebels or how I would like to call it Champions versus Contenders 3 because it kind of seems like it is still like a Heroes versus Villains Champions versus Contenders season but they're repackaging it here for the new season. Uh, I am excited that we're going to get an original theme. They're not just going to go to Heroes versus Villains 2 uh, or something like that because you know that's what they did with Champions versus Contenders when the first season was successful. They just brought out another one that was similar. So I'm glad to see that they're sort of breaking away and doing something different, but it does have a familiar feel to it for me in any case. Uh, so I'm very interested to know what you, the viewers, think about the fact that the season will be called Titans versus Rebels. And again, like I want to say, this has been um, some rumors that are out there on Instagram and Twitter. It's uh, Nothing's been confirmed as far as I'm aware, because normally Inside Survivor would have the scoop on spoilers, uh, and that's the one that I personally trust. But uh, a lot of people have been talking about it like it's gospel on some of the Survivor forums. So uh, I thought I'd jump on here throw my two cents in, and then you guys can tell me if I'm right or wrong, if you agree or disagree with it. Um, but one thing that has been made clear to us is that this season will consist of completely newbies, which I do think is a move in the right direction. I personally have gotten tired of seeing celebrities, previous sports stars going out there and competing because a lot of the times these people don't really have a feel for the game and they really uh, don't understand what we as an audience love about Survivor players. They don't make for entertaining TV in my mind. There has been some exceptions where recruits have come in and done extremely well, but I would much rather prefer that they get more actual fans on the show and that they actually cast some everyday Australians on the cast because there has been some successful shows now with some great new casts. Uh, I've watched Rush for the first three episodes and I love that cast. It's completely newbie players playing that show. And I have watched um, Million Dollar Island, which also had some great characters. And then obviously Traders came out last year with some great uh, casting choices as well. So uh, Titans versus Rebels to me seems like an interesting theme. Uh, I think that I would have liked to have seen like an authentic Australian theme, something that really people could get behind and maybe create a little bit of hype around that in Australia so that more new eyeballs would be glued to the screen to see what it is. Um, for people who live in Australia, they'll know what I'm talking about, but there is this big, big sporting event called State of Origin where uh, Queensland take on New South Wales, for instance. So it could have been like Survivor State of Origin or Battle of the States where you have like a couple of different states taking each other on like WA, uh, you know, Queensland and New South Wales, Victoria, everybody sort of taking each other on. But uh, they went for this theme, which to me, like I said, feels like a copy and it kind of means that we'll probably just see two tribes again, um, which kind of sticks to their format because they have this thing where they have to have a certain amount of episodes and a certain amount of tribes. I would have liked to have seen uh, maybe for them to bring in a third tribe or something like a four, four tribes with the amount of people that they have playing this game uh just try something new take a new risk i feel like you know uh but i guess they could have done worse it's it's exciting to hear that the show is coming back and that we're going to get a new season of australian survivor because i do feel like a lot of people out there now believe that australian survivor is setting the pace for the rest of the franchises out there and that the usa franchise is sort of lagging behind a little bit. And I have to say, I have to agree on a lot of it, but I also disagree on some of it. And maybe we do a different chat about the things that I think Australian Survivor does better than the US and what I think US still actually does better compared to um, Australian Survivor. That might be a hot take because people love to bag on the newer US franchises. But I wanted to jump on here, get my thoughts out about the season. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you like this new theme that they came out with? Uh, are you high on it? And um, be sure that if this is your first time that you sort of stumbled across the channel, to subscribe, hit the notification bell, put a like on the video. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. But most importantly, uh, if you love Australian Survivor, guess what? 
we do a lot of coverage when it comes out. We also cover Survivor US here on the channel, but our Australian Survivor coverage, especially last year, there's a lot of hype around it. We do top five takes, short form videos, and also lives where we talk about the show with the rest of our live audience out in Australia. And we have a lot of fun. Uh, it's myself and my co-hosts, Maki and Kahuna. In any case, that's it for now. Grab your torches, head back to camp, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.